Ladies, today I'm going to expose how you can live a luxury lifestyle while broke. Okay, maybe not broke, but you get what I mean. Tip number one is to budget wisely. Create a detailed budget and track your income and expenses. After paying for your necessary things such as rent, mortgage, bills, all those things, then you can decide to allocate out your money to whatever it is that you enjoy, whether that's fashion, fine dining, travel. All of this should come after, of course, you make sure you have a roof over your head and lights on in your house. But by creating a budget, you can really see how much money you're bringing in and what your expenses are in terms of your fixed expenses, what you want to save, and what you can allocate out to just enjoyment and the softer side of life. Number two is look for deals and discounts. You are never too rich, okay, to get a good deal or a good discount. Take advantage of sales and promotions and use apps to offer cash back on luxury items. For example, Neiman Marcus and Nordstrom both offer credit cards that allow you to get early access to their sales. Now, if you are not responsible with credit cards, I do not recommend you doing this but if you are someone who's known to pay your credit cards on time and you don't have an issue with credit card debt and you like luxury items I would say it will be very beneficial to you to get a credit card from one of these brands and have access to those early sales and extra discounts there are also some different cashback apps I don't know any that are luxury specific so if you know some leave it down in the comments but I know like Rakuten is an app where you can get cash back and of course there are a lot of different credit cards you can activate categories such as shopping or travel and get cash back those ways as well and Invest in quality over quantity. This is probably one of the biggest, biggest ones. Spending money on a lot of cheap stuff is going to cost you more money in the end because you're going to have to keep buying things over and over again rather than just spending a little bit more money on a few quality pieces that will last you a lifetime or at least many, many years. This can apply to clothing, <clears throat> Shein, home decor, and accessories. One of my favorite places to get accessories from is She Said Yes. This is not sponsored, but I do have a discount code for them. She Said Yes offers jewelry from 10 karat all the way up to 18 karat yellow gold, white gold, and platinum options. They sell rings, necklaces, bracelets, men's rings, earrings. They are the go-to hotspot for jewelry. Another thing I love about this brand is they're very, very ethical and sustainable. They use moissanite gemstones that have a beautiful clarity, but are nowhere near as controversial as diamonds, nor are they anywhere near as expensive. So if you want to invest in a few quality jewelry pieces that will last you, I definitely recommend She Said Yes. My discount code is Bella15, and you can use that code for 15% off your purchase. The next step is to shop secondhand. Of course, of course, thrift shops and consignment shops are an option, but if you're specifically looking for luxury, I recommend using certain sites or platforms that are known to authenticate your items. I actually have a whole entire video where I go into more detail about this. It's called How I Buy Luxury Items Without the High Price Tag. I'll link it in the cards and down below for you to watch after this. But some of the best places, in my opinion, to buy luxury and know that's going to be authenticated online include The Real Real, Fashion File, eBay, Poshmark. eBay and Poshmark will authenticate your items they're over $500 and the other two authenticate everything. It's also a good place to sell items. I love luxury bags and luxury shoes and everything as much as the next person, but there are some things that I feel like you are better off buying secondhand, especially if they're really, really popular items that you are likely to be able to find in like new condition online for a fraction of the price. There are also some physical shops where you can get luxury for a discounted price. I know Gucci has an outlet in Atlanta. I've never been, but I know they have one. And you can also take advantage of edit sales and sample sales. Versace had a sample sale in February. February and they were selling heels for under $200 and they're brand new. So definitely watch out for these edit sales, these sample sales, and take advantage of secondhand shops that will authenticate your items. And if it makes you more comfortable, you can also get them authenticated a second time. If you watch that video, I will let you all know where I go to get my items authenticated. Ooh, my sleeve was all messed up. Oh, both of them. Y'all want to tell me? Do I hit y'all with a cap sleeve? Is that what we're feeling? Is that how we're feeling today? Okay, tip number five is to DIY and upscale. This will require a bit of creativity, but you can get creative with do-it-yourself projects to elevate your wardrobe or your home decor. I have this little slightly off-white Givenchy mini Antigona bag, and I bought this secondhand from The Real Real for $800. This bag retails for over 2K, okay? Now, the handles did have some signs of wear on them, which is why I was able to get it for $800. But what I'm gonna do is just take some twillies and wrap it around the handles and really elevate the looks. So that for one, you can tell the bag is a bit older and also just to make it a bit more fun than just this plain cream bag. 
The sixth step and one that I always, always recommend you do is join loyalty programs. As I mentioned earlier, many brands offer loyalty programs and these programs come with discounts, early access to sales, and exclusive events. Of course, Neiman Marcus and Nordstrom are two options, but a lot of different brands have loyalty programs and will give you points. You can look into it for almost any brand that you like to shop at. Number seven, another one I recommend you ladies do, travel smart. Some ways to travel smart include use travel rewards, book flights during sales, and travel during off season. These three things will allow you to have your dream vacation while saving some money on flights and accommodations. I recommend that you do this for both hotels and for airlines. Now when it comes to airlines, I think it's very good to try your best to stick with one airline. I am located in Charlotte, North Carolina, which is the second biggest hub for American Airlines. So I pretty much exclusively fly American Airlines just because that's what's most available to me. By almost only choosing American Airlines for travel, I'm able to rack up a lot of points with them. And those points come with a lot of benefits fits especially if you save them. Last year I was able to travel to Germany for pretty much free because I had so many points that I'd stacked up and also when you have points or if you're a credit card member with a certain airline they do offer you a lot of perks. Some of those perks include being in a earlier boarding class or even first class upgrades. If you're looking to do a first class upgrade, I recommend that you wait until the last possible second to do so. This last month, I was able to fly first class to Cincinnati and Philadelphia for roughly $50 because I waited until the very, very end to upgrade my flight. Now, you cannot always do this. The flights that I was taking had seats available, which is why it was so cheap. Okay, next one. Another important one. I know. I'm saying everything is important because it is. Dine wisely. Food is one expense you can really, really control if you're smart about it. How much money you spend on food really depends on you. I recommend that you learn to cook some healthy gourmet meals. That way you can have that high quality, luxurious, fine dining experience without the price tag that comes with it. I also think it's fun to reward yourself by eating out on weekends. I think that if you're really disciplined and you eat at home all week long, you should reward yourself with eating out with friends on the weekend. You can even opt for lunch menus or happy hour menus at high-end restaurants. That way you can experience that high-end restaurant, get that amazing food, but not pay quite as much. Okay, number nine. Maybe this one's the most important. I don't know. Personal care. This one is so, so big because it determines how other people perceive you. And in a way, it also determines how you perceive yourself. Create a self-care routine for everything. I'm talking about hygiene, hair, nails, even your oral routine. Even if you can afford to go to the salon regularly, you still need to maintain your routine at home. There's no point in going to a hair salon or getting a facial and then going home and never cleaning your hair or never washing your face. Everything that you just got done at that salon is going to be erased by your lack of routine. So I recommend that you wash your hair regularly, always go out with your hair brushed and combed, have a great hygiene routine, use nice smelling products in the shower, after the shower, and of course, a lovely perfume to top it off. Keep your nails maintained. Even if you don't want to paint your nails, at least keep them trimmed, clipped, filed, clean. Just have a nice clean nail. People look at your nails more than you know. So by having them clean, you will look so, so luxurious and so, so elegant, and you don't have to spend a lot of money on doing that. And finally, please brush your teeth at least twice a day. Some of y'all don't, we all know. Brush your teeth at least twice a day and floss, especially at night. It is so important to brush your teeth at night. Like I think the nighttime oral routine is not really emphasized enough. Of course you should brush your teeth when you wake up, but before you go to bed is extra important because you've had food that you've been eating all day long and now you're gonna sleep for five to eight hours with your mouth shut and bacteria is just having a, a heyday in your mouth. So please brush your teeth before going to bed, floss because there's so much stuff stuck in your teeth. Honestly, just by prioritizing your personal care, you will feel so much more confident, which will enable you to have that luxury lifestyle and to walk into rooms and just to meet people that you wouldn't think normally you could meet. Just by having that confidence that starts with your personal hygiene. And the very, very last tip I have for you all is to prioritize experiences. Focus on experiences that bring you joy and fulfillment rather than just possessions. Now don't get me wrong, you know I love a good handbag or two, but oftentimes experiences create lasting memories that also cost less than items. So go to a winery with one of your girlfriends, book that cabin trip with your mans and bring your Polaroid. Life is literally a collection of experiences and I want you all to have the most beautiful collection of experiences that you can at the end of the day. By making thoughtful choices and seeking out opportunities for savings, you can enjoy a luxurious lifestyle without having to break the bank. I hope you all love this video. This is actually the second video in my how to look rich on a budget series. My other video about how to look expensive without going broke will be linked in the 
cards and down below for you to watch after this one. I hope you love this video so so much and as always do not forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss a single video from me. I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!